Hey, what's up guys? It's Marsman here, and uh, welcome to another Feed the Beast episode. So I went ahead and made a macerator, and I started macerating some cold dust and some tin because I plan on working on the bees a little bit this episode. Um, I just got to empty out some stuff real quick. So I made myself a tree tap, so I was able to get some sticky resin um, to make the macerator, and I'll just kind of show you how... Um, what the recipe is. Basically you need machine block which is refined iron which is iron in a um, in, an, in a wow in an oven um, and then you just kind of do this recipe you get an electronic circuit and then uh, very easily you kind of assemble it with some flint and cobblestone and you have a macerator. Now these used to work differently um, than they do now so it's kind of new to me. There you go. Um, it's very new to me actually because it used to be powered. So I made a redstone engine thinking this is how it will work. And sure enough, the redstone engine uh, did nothing for me. And I kind of found out the hard way that I just had to, uh, to put some redstone in there. So I'm going to make all the bronze I can, which actually um, the reason being is this for the apiary, which is what we need for the bees. I, I need some wood, which I do have, but I need an impregnated casing. Um, with this, I need a carpenter. And the carpenter is the thing that needs the bronze. So. Oh, I need three bronze like that to uh, and a sturdy casing, which is a ton of bronze actually. Um, so we need six, eight. All right, so we need fourteen bronze, and right now I am sitting at six. So that's kind of what's going on here. Um, why I'm doing this because we need a ton of bronze, and I, I, I'm definitely going to make more than that. Um, it's always good to have, so. Uh, for now, let's find a location uh, to do this. Let's chop down, we'll chop down this tree and the one next to it, and I'll fill out this area. Um, I think that'll be kind of the best thing to do at the moment. And then I'll kind of figure out a place to uh, place the bees. I don't know if I really want to uh, actually place them in this wood or valley, whatever you want to call it, um, kind of in this enclosed area. Um, I was thinking um, it may be a good idea to find a place on top of a mountain and, uh, and I could dig in the hill and make myself a path, but like up there or something, maybe Maybe I could plant a bunch of trees and have the apiaries up there, or even up here. I, I could put it over here, but this is like really, really close to the volcano. And I just don't find it like a nice location to look at. Um, I, I mean, this valley's kind of nice, but do I really want to have it next to kind of this volcano? I don't know. Maybe. it's. I mean, this isn't far. But I kind of like the idea that I would kind of make it up here and I would make myself like a, a huge stairway in the mountain uh, that, that would kind of bring me all the way up here. Uh, we'll see how flat... Oh wow, okay, never mind, this isn't... I thought there was more to this actually. I thought this was kind of flatter ground um, than just this little chunk. Okay, well, so then we'll do it in there. Because our only other option is over there, and um, I don't really, I don't really like the biome all that much. So I think, yeah, I think this is uh, as good a place as any, uh, kind of in this general area. So let me go back down here. Um, nope, that is death. Something I wanted to get rid of actually is kind of this little um, platform sticking out here. It's kind of cool, but it just doesn't belong. 
So let's open this up a little bit more. It'll be nicer for the valley to, to kind of be open like this and not so enclosed in itself. Which is all part of some work I'm going to do eventually um, is to really pimp this thing out and have it like really become uh, something really cool. So, f oh god. For now, that's okay. Um, I shaved a little bit off. Yeah, that looks, I mean, that looks amazing <laughs> compared to what it, what it did look like, so. I actually started recording. Um, and like an idiot, I, I recorded the audio, but not the... Oh my god, you ugly freak. Get out of here. Let's go with the pickaxe. Yeah, I started recording the audio, but not the video. So I kind of screwed myself over. So that's why the macerator was done. I actually, I recorded all that, but it didn't record because, um, again, my video didn't record. So that's kind of why I'm a little bit advanced compared to uh, what I was. I, I usually like to do this stuff on camera, but sure enough, I kind of screwed the pooch on that one. All right, so the iron can go in there. Let's grab this stuff. I don't think we need to do any more of that. Uh, this is plenty. All right, so we'll have seven, uh, which is actually more than that. So let's take this bronze dust, bronze dust, sorry, and put it in here. And we needed what? This fourteen. So we'll just have twenty. That's actually kind of less than what I want um, but we actually don't have a lot of tin and I may need it for some recipes so it's kind of a pain in the ass all right so well actually let me kind of split this up speed up the process and we'll just sleep now I have to make myself a new sword that much is is for sure Um, okay, so saplings going here. Sticky resin. Actually, we can put kind of all of the resin. Uh, piston will go in here. Oh, actually, we need most of this wood, don't we? That's okay. And ah, oh, we don't need these. Some glass. I hope this is enough glass. We we do have some some extra sand if we need more. All right. So here we go. We do the sturdy casing. There. And we'll need three more. There we go. And like this, put that in the middle. Some glass, and we have a carpenter. Perfect. So now with the carpenter, which is going to be kind of a pain in the ass, um, we do need a power source for this, I do believe. Um, God, this is how unprepared I am. I am fairly certain we need a power source. Where did I put this? I hope this works as a power source. Um, I have a good feeling it will actually connect up. So I hope it does. All right, we can put the rest of this stuff in here. No need to kind of do anything with that, uh, except for two iron for sword. Oh, 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 God. <laughs> I'm clicking everything. Oh. Uh. All right, tell me this works. Perfect. OK, so now this has no power right now. And let's go back to the apiary, which is right here. We'll need, we'll definitely need more than one. Um, so it's just wood uh, all around. And then we'll need some seed oil, which will be kind of a pain in the ass. So. Um, Put some wood all around, put some wood in there. Why 
I believe the recipe should show up when we do it. Am I not using the right wood? No, oak wood is fine. So perhaps just because we don't have oil in there, which we need a squeezer, I think? Is that how it works? Yes, we need a squeezer. Oh no, some tin. Oh no, we need another sturdy casing. This is going to be tight. This is going to be real tight with, uh, with what I have left here. All right, macerate this. We'll have to macerate some more copper, which is fine because copper we have quite a bit of. Let's uh, let's go to try to find some more, huh? This is quite risky. Um, I don't think copper or tin are necessarily something that's like really deep down. So I think we're okay, just kind of treading around this area and seeing if we can't find it. If we can't find any. Some tin would just be phenomenal because I, like I said, I, I know we don't need the, co the copper. All right, let's go, let's go put the copper in there. I'm doing a lot of running around this episode, a lot of it. All right, done. Put you in there. And the reason why um, I'm doing this is because I kind of want to have something on the go uh, while I can do other stuff. Because right now I feel, um, you know, like if I'm just mining, like there, there's no... Oh, get off there. Um, there's not really any progress that I'm doing if I'm just mining. But if I can have kind of the bees doing their thing while I'm mining, then it feels like there's there's a lot more progress to be had. So that's kind of the mentality I'm having here uh, as to why I want to get the bees thing going. And then there'll, there'll be more stuff as well. Uh, right now, I'm just kind of dead for ideas um, as to what to do, really. I'm waiting for a response from you guys um, to, to know exactly kind of uh, what you're looking for. Oh, some uranium. Sweet. And... Um, as well, I mean that'll that'll help a ton once I kind of get responses in there or whatnot. Oh wow, this this is perfect. This is really really perfect. Exactly what I needed. Look at that. So let's kind of cobblestone over here, and then we have to dig down. Which is not a problem. Kind of make some stairs here a little bit. Um, light up the way so you guys can see. Ugh. A little risque. That is tin, right? Perfect. Um, not the best. We, I mean, we could get a better haul than this, but for now, this is gonna have to do. Just a little bit of tin like that, though. It, it does help. All right. I think we have enough with what we already have and all the copper that's going to be in there. Like, I, I think that'll even out and, and be just, just enough to get everything done that we need. But just to be on the safe side. Um, so if I have six, six times three, so I need... 18 of these, which I'll have in a second. So I'll need some seeds because I'm going to be kind of squeezing out some seed oil. So, oh wow. Oh, not, not that. That's not what I want. I want some seeds, not some kernels. I'm having no luck right now. Um, I may have to go to bone meal if I can't get seeds. I think I may have some back at home. Oh. 
Why aren't I getting any seeds? Alright, this seems to be uh, a decent area for this stuff. And look at that, some more underwater bees. Which actually isn't a big deal if we grab. There you go. We're here. I mean, it's close enough to home that it's not a big deal. Alright, let's find some... Oh god, everything but actual, like, normal seeds. Are you kidding me right now? Am I... Am I in the wrong biome or something? Do I... Alright, let me, uh... Let me check seed oil. Seed drop, which... Oh god, what am I even doing okay there there are different ways to do this oh thank god yeah you put seeds in a squeezer but can you put any type of seeds oh yes okay these things are good these things are good so we'll try to get some more of these oh my god it's just Popcorn. Oh, some normal seeds. Nah, we don't need that. Oh no, those are flax. Are the flax good? I didn't notice. Um, but we can use these henequin. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Probably not. So at least I know that's kind of a backup if we can't get some actual seeds. Which... For the life of me, I don't understand why there are no, no like, normal Minecraft seeds. Did I totally just overlook those bees last time? I think I did. Yeah, I think... Oh, wow. There we go. Okay. Cobblestone? Oh no, let's get rid of the gunpowder. Um, I mean, we can get plenty of those. There's plenty of creepers around. Alright. Let's run back. God. I get so confused in the controls sometimes. I've been playing a lot of PC games uh, and um, a lot of different ones. So it gets really tough uh, when it comes to, to the controls. And like... I've held an Xbox controller for the first time in like a couple months the other week, or the other day, sorry, and uh, and it it felt completely awkward to me. Like it felt like for uh, about 20 minutes I just didn't know how to play or do anything. It was so bizarre.